Once you guys got another video here for you on how to delete a previous Windows installation and free up disk space uh, for your computer. Now, if you've just rolled out an update, uh, we can check this by going to um, System and uh, having a look here. We've just rolled out an update to Windows 10 Pro 1903, and this will create a Windows.old folder on your C drive. So let's take a look here inside our Explorer area and go to our C drive. And you should see a folder in here called windows.old. Now normally this gets removed after a certain period of time, but for some reason mine has not been removed and it's still there. Now normally what they put this there for is so you can roll back if you've got problems with the Windows update that you've just rolled out. So if you have rolled out a Windows update, uh, then you can roll back. But you've only got 10 days. So if I go into um, system here, and we take a look at storage, you should see now uh, an area called storage, which is storage sense, which allows you to basically remove junk files from the computer. It used to use a Windows cleanup tool, and uh, you can now use something like this, uh, which will remove a lot of junk from your system. I'll show you how to set it up in a bit, but what I'm interested in here is to remove the windows.old folder from here. So let's go to the configuration settings here, and this will allow you to configure the storage sense uh, on your system. You can see I've not turned it on yet, but there's an area down here that says free up uh, space now. And this is going to allow you to uh, remove space. Now, if you look at this area here, it does say that they delete them automatically after 10 days. And uh, this will delete that folder. Uh, but sadly, it's not removed mine and it's still there. So if I go into the recovery area, you can see it's all been grayed out and I can't roll back to my previous version now because 10 days has passed and of course that folder is still on there and it's taking up a big chunk of my space so I need to remove that from the system so if you have rolled out an update and you're thinking that Windows is going to deal with it and it hasn't then deal with it yourself it's pretty straightforward so let's go back into the storage sense here and I'm going to delete this previous uh, version of Windows just put the tick inside there and all you need to do, we haven't got storage sense enabled, you don't need to have it enabled, and then just click uh, clean now. And this will then go ahead and start to remove uh, that Windows the old folder from your system. Now if you want to check the old version of cleanup, which is the old tool, which has been with Windows for many, many years, this will allow you to remove the previous versions of Windows installations from here as well, just like you used to be able to, if you still prefer to use that method, you can do. Uh, all you need to do here is open this up and uh, let it do its thing and it will come back and uh, scan your system. You can see it's now detecting previous Windows installations on my system. Now remember I'm already removing it but it should still detect it uh, on the system. And uh, once this is finished its scan we should be able to uh, show you on here. So there we go. It's now opened up. And uh, this will give you access to this location here where you can now remove the previous Windows installations from here as well. You see quite a big uh, file there, but I've already started removing it, so I'm not going to use this method. I'm going to let uh, Storage Sense go ahead and remove this from the system. So whatever floats your boat really, you can use the old disk cleanup tool or you can use uh, Storage Sense, which makes sense really because it's a, a new feature and it just takes all the hard work out of it. You can see it's now removed that from our system and it's cleaned up a lot of space. So let's just check our C drive and you can see the folder has now been removed. Now Windows should have removed that automatically but it hasn't, but it's no big deal. Now if you want to turn on uh, Storage Sense, it will uh, clean out temporary files from your computer um, whenever you set it up. And you can also set it up to remove the data from the downloads folder if you want to remove that and you can set up whenever you like it so let's enable the storage sense feature here then go into this location here now this allows you to set it up for every day every week every month or whenever you want to uh, set it up for so let me just do this every week and uh, we're going to also set up the temporary files and uh, you can set this to delete temporary files from your computer and basically you can set this up to whenever you like and of course this will be obviously recycle bin and everything else as well so I'm just going to set this up for every 14 days maybe something like that 
um, but you can do it every day if you wish but 14 days is probably good enough for me because uh, obviously you might want to uh, get some vials back and it just gives you that sort of time scale to get it back and I'll also put this onto never and we can go and look at the downloads folder and see how much data has been collected in there now if we had this set up it would remove this automatically but you can see here um, you just forget to remove stuff and of course there's a lot of stuff inside here as you can see there and it's quite easily done you know if you're not running I don't run uh, cleaning programs like C clean or anything like that on the system and of course I'm going to set this up to every day because I don't want uh, data um, building up inside the downloads folder now you could set this up as a sort of safety net and make it once a week so you can always find files in there uh, that you want to go back to uh, but if you want to remove them you can just make it every day let's just run the uh, tool again by just put clean now and uh, away you go now once you've done the cleaning process uh, it will automatically do this for you um, on the time schedule that you set it out to it will just run it automatically you can see we've freed up a, a ton of space here and if you're on a, a small ssd uh, then this is going to be very essential for you to uh, claw back that vital space that you need and uh, hopefully uh, this will help you out so I haven't touched on uh, storage sense here on this channel so I wanted to just give it a quick coverage just to let you see how it works and uh, it was on the previous version I think but I never really sort of covered it but I just wanted to make sure you understand how to use it it's very simple and easy to use and a quite useful little tool now if you still prefer to use other third-party tools like CCleaner then carry on using those if you wish but I don't see much use for them if you've got something like this built into Windows and you want to use something to easily clean up your system. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great weekend. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.